Friends, Tony Matsu in forever. Why does Nintendo keep giving the frags of IPs to Westerners? Okay, I have never played a single Metroid game in my life. Okay. But this game, I believe, was very well received by the Metroid fandom. Same thing with Metroid Dread. Okay. Again, these people are just complaining because they want the game to be exactly like the very, very old Metroid games. It's mostly nostalgia, if you really think about it. The Nostalgia, of course, is a powerful weapon, obviously, but eventually these people will go away, you know. You know, how dare you ruin, like how I thought, like, how, like me if the new Mystery Dungeon game, they're like, how dare you say the Mystery Dungeon sound effects. I sound like a boomer. When I talk about that, okay? I sound like a crazy boomer. When I talk about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon sound effects. Like, no one cares. 99% of people don't care about the sound effects of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Having Gates to Infinity sound effects in a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, okay? Or Gates to Infinity OSTs in the in certain dungeons, okay? No, most people don't care, okay? But according to me, Gates to Infinity ruined Pokemon Mystery Dungeon forever, okay? It ruined Pokemon Mystery Dungeon forever for... As well by making the games far more complicated. Even though they are mostly the same like similar games to the original DS games. But they add like new mechanics. Like for example having the tiny revival seeds and big revival seeds and tiny apples and big apples. You know stuff like that. But yeah. It's kind of like this guy can play about Metroid Samus Returns on the 3DS. Because it wasn't exactly like the old Metroid games. And they changed it to be quote unquote more modern. Grow up.